Italian Renaissance artist Raphael's School of Athens painting depicts Aristotle, Plato, and every great Greek philosopher of their time. But did you know that there is a legendary Muslim philosopher and thinker in the picture as well? We have always been taught that the Renaissance, humanism, and enlightenment were a purely European achievement. Humanist thinkers such as Petrarch found missing Greek and Roman manuscripts in monastery libraries, which influenced the end of the Middle Ages. But what they failed to recognize was that most of these manuscripts were translated from Arabic, from the works of prominent Arab Muslim thinkers. This paved the way for European development and the creation of new scientific fields, such as chemistry and algebra, with calculations that were the basis of Copernicus and Newton's discoveries. But let's go back to Raphael's painting. Unbeknown to many, the great Muslim thinker in it is Ibn Rushd, also known as Averroes. His writings affected much of the philosophical and theological ideas in medieval Europe and Western civilization. In the Christian and Jewish worlds, Ibn Rushd is renowned for his important commentaries on Aristotle, in addition to his own works, which include 28 books on philosophy, 20 on medicine, 8 on law, 5 on theology, and 4 on grammar among other books in connection with astronomy, music, poetry, and rhetoric. It was through the translations of Ibn Rushd's commentaries on Aristotle into Latin in the 13th century that the revival of true Aristotelianism took place in the West. In fact, it is acknowledged that these translations were largely responsible for the most important change in the history of medieval thought, which resulted from the introduction of Ibn Rushd's Aristotle to the Christian West. His volumes were translated into Latin in 1255 AD and reprinted several times, surpassing all other medical works in the Middle Ages. As a memorial, Ibn Rushd's statues have been placed in the vestibule of the University of Barcelona and along the ancient walls in the city of Cordova. While the role of Muslim scholars in history is not known to many, there is no doubt that they played an important part in paving the way for the European Renaissance.